Thank God it's a Wednesday. Ito po ang September 22 edition ng the stock market today. 94 days na lang. Pasko na. Sana po merry po ang Christmas natin ngayon. Ngayong taon. Ito po. Ngayon uh, kahapon po, aside from the 49th anniversary of the Declaration of Martial Law in the Philippines, ay ito rin po yung tinatawag nating autumn equinox sa northern hemisphere. Ito po yung start of autumn. Kasi four seasons po sa northern hemisphere. Eh. Yeah, like uh, Japan, Korea, China, yan po. Nung nasa Hong Kong po ako, they have this autumn sale. No? Autumn sale. Pero hindi naman po nag snow sa Hong Kong. So, yan po, no? yung autumn equinox, ang ibig pong sabihin po noon ay nag-equal na po yung day, yung um, oras ng araw at gabi. So, equi meaning equal. Nox means night. And after September 21, ay mas matag tumatagal na po ang gabi kaysa sa araw until it reaches, the date reaches December 21 which is called the winter solstice, meaning it's the longest uh, night of the year. Okay po, so yun po yung a bit of information about uh, our, the seasons and the earth. Ako po si Benji Chodoro, isang retired bank officer who started to invest in the Philippine stock market in 2007. And I do this report every day, which I started August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol po sa pinaplanong uh, toll roads sa uh, Pasig River ng San Miguel. Kasama po ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa PSI ngayong araw, ika-22 ng September, 2021 dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Okay po, so let's start. But let's start first with our financial headlines. Courtesy po ito ng BDO Securities. So sa ating news, economic news, COVID's economic cost to hit 41 trillion pesos. Then the second bullet is Jokno says Philippine economy to emerge from pandemic stronger. And the third bullet is House passes bill imposing 12% VAT on digital transactions. Hmm. So kung meron po kayong Spotify or Netflix, may net, meron ng 12% VAT yung inyong subscription. Ayan po. And then, uh, House bill pa lang po ito, no? It has to pass through the Senate. So this is just a proposal. In our sectoral news, this is our main news, SMC signs deal to build 95 billion Pasig River Expressway. And uh, the second is RRHI plans to open more drug stores. Hmm, this is good news, huh? It opened its 870th drug store in Cebu. Wow, that's, that's great, huh? And then PH needs to add 20 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity to hit 2030 target so ito po yung regarding ac energy and fgen and ap so tignan din natin siya mamia that's it on our financial headlines now let's go to the main item tignan naman natin ito from the inquirer.net SMC's 95 billion Pasig River toll road project okayed. Conglomerate San Miguel Corpor, SMC said its 95 billion Pasig River Expressway project in Metro Manila was approved by the government allowing construction 
of the 19.37 kilometer toll road to proceed the six lane elevated toll road which will take five years to complete will be built over the Pasig River and connect the eastern and western portions of the capital district. It will also be linked to SMC Skyway 3, connecting Metro Manila's north to south corridor. SMC President Ramon Ang called the Parex the future urban transport since it would cater to motorists, public commuters, bikers, pedestrians, and separate water ferry project serving points along the Pasig River. Tingnan po natin ang SMC Mamiya sa ating uh, stock review. In the meantime, let's take a look at what happened to the PSE and the PSE index today. Okay, so the PSEI ended almost flat, gaining 9.53 points or 0.14%. To finish at 6890.73, meso medyo tumaas siya ng konte pero yung candlestick po natin is um, looks like a doji here but the uh, benchmark kasi dito nung right side ano is the previous day's close ano po so it ended 9.53 points higher than the previous day pero yung left side po ay it appears to be a um, doji since the opening price is uh, 6891 and it ended at 6890 so down by about 1 point kaya nakikita niyo po this small area here or this small doji here is uh, the formation appears to, as the formation for candlestick kaya ganyan po yan ngayon po ang ating RSI on the of the index is at 5437 so, yung ating market summary naman, 128 companies advanced, 82 declined, while 37 remained unchanged. The All Share Index also advanced by 0.51% or 21.58 points. Our sectoral indices ended mixed. The financials, holding companies, and properties were in the red, while the industrials, mining, and services were in the green. The gainers was led by the services, which um, gained 2.94 points, followed by mining at 2.24 points. In the meantime, the losers was led by properties at 0.87%. So all in all, the counterbalance lang po siya to end up at 0.51%. So wala pang 1% po, 21 points. Ngayon, yung market activity naman or market status, I, we will be reviewing the following. But before I do that, let me first acknowledge the request of our subscribers. Si Anali Lichon commented, Good evening, sir. Thank you for sharing your daily stock review. Please include AP in the next review. Okay, I'll do that. Then Mike Miguel commented, thank you, please include MBT next time. Okay, so we'll be including AP, MBT, and then CSMC, RRHI, CFGEN, ASEN, TEL. Okay, so let's now go to AP. Request Pony Anneli. Wow, AP is, well, I should say this is a bullish formation, ano po? Kasi po yung kanyang um, moving averages are going up with RSI at 73 over what na po siya, but tingnan po natin yung DMI. Yung DMI po niya is 64, meaning meron pong definite trend si AP. So it doesn't really matter if it is overbought because that's the stock will continue to move upwards. In the meantime, ang pinaka-support po ni AP ay nandito po sa area nito. Nearest po ito, no? 29.50. At tingnan po natin yung resistance. Let's use the one week. Actually, this is resistance level na po. Itong uh, area nito. Yan. So, the next resistance level is at 33, but Yung closing price na ngayon at 32.30 is already resistance level. 
Okay, so that's uh, AP, which is which which continues to move upwards because there is a definite trend, and then MBT. Okay, Mike Miguel naman to. Wow, bearish currency M MBT. So I I should see a wedge here, a sort of a wedge. So if we will be drawing a channel, actually, pababa po siya. Uh, let's draw a trend line na lang. Ayan, pababa siya. Then the other trend line is maganyan eh. It's a bearish wedge. Pero, alam niyo po, yung ganitong formation na wedge formation na pababa ay pwedeng maging bullish formation po yan. Ano? It's a sign of a some bullishness occurring in the future. So, maaring, kasi as opposed to a upward wedge, this is a downward wedge. Yung ating dinodraw, ano po? it's a downward wedge, which means that when it reaches a point where these two meets, this, this uh, upper and lower wedge or line meet, ay maaring magkaroon niya ng pataas na trend. So, abangan niyo lang po kasi ang MBT po is a very good company, no? Well managed, kumikita naman, hindi naman po tulugi, eh. kumikita naman po siya. In fact, kung fundamentals po ang pag-uusapan natin, si BDO uh, Securities is placing the real price of uh, MBT at Metropolitan Bank, 58 pesos, so it's an upside of 28%. Sorry about that na confused lang po sa MBT tsaka MPI. So this is a good bank naman and it compares with uh, the leading banks here in the country. Na po. Pero MBT has a great potential of moving up and in fact it has a about 30% or 29% upside. Ngayon, though hindi po natin review MPI is one good stock to accumulate. So, tip ko po sa inyo yon. So, ito po yung aking uh, analysis for MBT, Metropolitan Bank. Ano po? Bearish po siya, pero the upside is, the upside potential is good. Yung upside niya is at 58. So, nasa 44, 50 na po siya. So, nandito po yung upside niya. No? Nandito po. Yan. Dito po. Which coincides with a resistance level. Yan po yung upside niya. In the meantime, the nearest uh, resistance ni Metro Bank, nandito po sa 49.90. The support is here at this level, 43.30. Now, when I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points, but these are areas. Ngayon, si SMC naman. SMC, balik natin sa one day. Yan, just, um, well, it has been moving sideways at yung ating formation ng candlestick ay taas baba, taas baba. Pero yung pinaka-support level niya ay nandito po, nasa 109. Resistance level is here at uh, 117. So, yan po si SMC, which is uh, just moving sideways. RSI is neither bullish nor bearish. Nasa 48 or almost 49 po, yung midpoint niya. Then, RRHI. So, si RRHI naman ay bearish si RRHI. Support niya nandito po sa 49 pesos. At resistance niya, pinakamalapit po nandito po sa 51.60. When I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points, but these are areas. So, after RRHI... I see, tingnan natin, FGen. FGen naman. Okay, FGen is also, well, so far it is bullish and it has been above within this level. Mag-draw na tayo ng box dito. Yan. Nandito po siya sa level na ito. And it has been moving in this level since um, August, ano? August 20 or September 1. So, dyan lang po siya with support at uh, 3140 or 3150 and 3231 is the resistance and then tingnan na lang, naman natin si ASEN si ASEN ay one of the bullish stocks yan no? pataas pa rin si ASEN 
1080, 1084 today. And um, this is the highest again. So every day, nag high po siya. So 1086 na po siya, which is the highest level of the stock so far with support here at 10 pesos. Ngayon po, yung formation na ito ay overbought na po. But kung titignan po natin yung DMI, let's put that up. DMI is at 37, meaning even though the stock is overbought, it will continue to move upwards. Kasi the directional movement index is over 30, which means that even the RSI says it's overbought, it will still continue to move up. At kung titignan nyo lang yung formation ng ating indicators, ay bullish formation po siya. Pataas. So, yung ating short, medium, and long term are lined up nicely under the candlestick. Then, we have tail. Tail is nag-move up na rin po ito. And it even moved higher today with, again, with volume. In fact, it reached a high of 17,008, 1708. And Kanina, when I was taking a look at this stock, yung pinaka-fundamentals po niya ay ang sabi po ng ating um, fundamentals per BDO Securities, the stock is worth 1,603. So, lumagpas na po siya dun sa area yon. But kung technicals po ang pag-uusapan natin, yung next resistance level po ng stock, let's put up the one-week chart. Yan po, no? Nandito po sa, tingnan natin, 1708 yung kita ko kanina eh. Mga 1780 po eh. Dito po. Dito po sa area to. Yan po. 1780 yung next um, resistance area po based on a one week chart ni Investagrams, no? Pero na-reach na po niya yan, ano? So, as long as our indicators are bullish, it will remain bullish. Tingnan mo natin ang DMI nitong si Tel, ano po? Yan po, nasa 45 meaning kahit overbought po yan tataas pa rin po yung stock as long as the momentum is sustained. In the meantime, the nearest port is here in this area nasa 1507 yung nearest support po niya. And uh, may I share with you yung technicals ni BDO uh, Securities ano, on TEL. Ang sabi niya dito, last September 15, we mentioned the possibility that TEL could reach a new high if it followed the move of its rival glow. And indeed, it did. Yesterday alone, the stock rose almost 6%, reaching our target price of 1,600. If you have accumulated TEL on the day we have featured it, you should have about an 8% gain. The stock may continue to rally as indicated by its RSI, which is accompanied by volume expansion. TEL's next resistance is 1,780, which we plotted earlier, which is 11% above the current price. Hold your position as this level may be reached if strong momentum persists. However, trail your stops. Yan po ang advice ni BDO Nomura. But of course, it's your call. Ano po? And um, sa akin po, I, as long as there is momentum, I, you ride the momentum. But uh, make sure that you have a stop loss. No? Yung trading stop po niya is uh, 14 or 1545. So trail your stops. Target price mo is 1780 with a potential 11% upside and downside of 3%. Net upside is 8%. Okay. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market September 22, 2021. Ito po si Benji Chadoro. Nagpapaalala. Mag-ingat sa COVID. Mag-ingat sa scam. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay at hanggang sa muli. God bless and bye for now.